This is Twit. You are Sir. in the land of plenty when it comes to whiskey. Oh, you, oh I have some of this at home. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm in, I'm in Washington State. There's a few local whiskeys, but nothing I, I go particularly eccentric for. Well, somebody was tormenting me about Wooden Bill again because I wasn't particularly generous to Wooden Bill last time around. <laughs> uh, but I did go dip into American bourbon this time around. I'm going to Eagle Rare. Eagle uh, Rare. Which is which these days is owned by the Sazerac distillery, which is Buffalo Trace, right? But the, the origins of it are, are amusing to me because it's not an ancient whiskey like these others it didn't yeah. deal with prohibition or anything like that. No, it was invented in 1975 by a fellow by the name of Charles L. Beam. So he was the great nephew of the Jim Beam. And the Beam family shows up everywhere in that area. And in 75, you know, it was a tough time for whiskey. That's the disco era. And the highball was hot, right? It was the Cooper Libra. It was lighter drinks, right? You needed to be able to dance a lot. And so, and whiskey's really suffered. Going through the 80s, you see a lot of distilleries getting mothballed, shut down. The Irish industry shut down a lot. And, and so did the Scottish. And so at the time, Beam worked for Seagram's at the Four Roses Distillery, although at that time it was called the Old Prentice Distillery. And uh, it's and Seagram's is the one, when we talked about Four Roses, that kept messing with Four Roses to the point where it had a really bad reputation until Diageo buys them up in 2000 and revises everything. And so it's, and it's not called Eagle Rare by accident. It was a competitor to Wild Turkey. And so they deliberately made it 101 <laughs> proof, 50.5, yep. same as Wild Turkey, and called it Eagle Rare. Uh, and I, I sent a link in the in the notes there, Leo, if you want to pull that up. To, I found a copy of the ad from 1979 uh, for, uh, for how they were selling Eagle Rare, where they used the line, carve the turkey, pour the eagle. <laughs> Uh, that is that's so not good. too competitive. Wow. Yeah, is that that's a little hysterical. on the nose? That's hysterical. <laughs> that's great. I and of course, that. Turkey at the time was the most popular bourbon in, in, in America or in the world, really. So uh, that's so this. If you did no mistake, this was a targeted product. Yeah. Uh, and uh, it didn't, not, didn't hardly displace wild turkey. Wild turkey is still widely consumed. Yeah. Um, but the Sazerac, the Sazerac acquired Eagle Rare in 89. And we talk about Sazerac Distillery, but at the time, Sazerac was only a liquor distributor. They were based in New Orleans, right? And all those, uh, all those bourbons come down out of Kentucky, down the river to New Orleans. And, you know, there's apocryphal stories like Elijah Craig invented real bourbon because he was in Bourbon County. Right. So that's why that was that was the name on the side of the barrel. And he uh, had an iron fire that caused his barrels to be charred. Hmm. And so his corn liquor changed flavor. Right. I mean, again, apocryphal, like nobody really knows if any of that is true. But there is a Bourbon County in Kentucky. And arguably, that's where the name bourbon comes from. So uh, when Sazerac was starting to grow in the late 80s, as the market was starting to shift again, they started acquiring distilleries that were distressed. And so they were able to, they acquired the Eagle Rare brand. There was also another brand called Benchmark that was made by, by Beam as well. They acquired them both. And they, of course, didn't have a distillery. So they made a deal with some other Beam family members, Parker and Craig Beam, who ran the Heavens Hill Distillery, which is in Bardstown, south of Louisville. And they were producing from there. Although to distinguish it from the normal stuff that was produced in Barstown, it's actually labeled as from New Orleans. And if you are into collecting old whiskeys, and I am not, I drink whiskey, I don't collect it. Uh, you will find labels yeah. from 1980, uh, 1989 to 1992 that actually say Eagle Rare made in New Orleans. It's not true. They were made in Barstown, but that's was the distinction there. Um, but Sazerac started by now got into distilleries and by 1992, they bought the George T. Stagg distillery, which is in Frankfurt, east of uh, Louisville in a little bit drier, warmer area. And this is what is now known as the Buffalo Trace distillery. And that's they relocated the Eagle Rare brand there. They also acquired many others. Weller, E.H. Taylor, Elmer T. Lee, Blanton's. Pappy Van Winkle, you know, and they standardized their stills. Like we don't really talk about the stills at Sazerac because it's not a particularly interesting part of the story. They make all these different brands. They pretty much narrowed them down to three mash bills. So three different uh, 
uh, grain combinations, always corn first. And then in the case of mash bill one and two, it's some rye. The one is a low rye, one below 10%, and then barley. And then the, the number two is about 12 to 15% rye with barley. And then finally, the number three is the one with wheat. And so Weller, Pappy Way Winkle use the wheat, where Blandons and Elmer T use the high rye one, and our eel rare falls into the low rye or mash bill one. Uh, version of the of the whiskey the 101 the original which it was started back in 75 was discontinued in 2005 after 30 years they started making a 90 so 45 percent typical spirit level hmm. uh in 2000 sazerac also produced a thing called the antique collection which is all their high aged uh whiskeys and that this uh, was a george t stag at 137 proof uh the sazerac rye 18 year the w l weller 128 proof the thomas handy 125 proof and of course an eagle rare 17 was so 17 year very hard to come by still at 45 percent uh bottles i've seen going for more than a thousand dollars yes don't do it yeah. Yeah. you want you want the eagle rare experience buy the 10 it's 40 bucks yeah. like and it is a nice bottle yes, yeah. of bourbon not too spicy the rye is low on it 10 years old so it's got a good age on it. it's got a nice color to it infinitely drinkable yep. um nothing bad to say about eagle rare at all but it's just one of those many whiskeys that has been drawn into that huge facility at the buffalo trace distillery uh, but it has a great origin story going down to the other regions of kentucky very nice very nice ladies and gentlemen with that we wrap up our coverage uh -huh. of build <laughs> Thank you, Emma. <laughs> and we, we send we're, we're, Richard, we're excited. Tom, Richard Campbell home and Paul Fallout home to a wonderful uh, <laughs> marriage. <laughs> uh, they are not married. They just like each other an awful lot. <laughs>